Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lena. I'm an incoming medical student in the US. In this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the MCAT, the medical school entrance exam required for all of the applicants to take if you are applying to medical schools in the US or in Canada. I'll walk you through the logistics of the MCAT exam, share my score and each component of my score with you. Also show you my schedule to prep for the MCAT while working full time and offer some tips, resources, as well as common mistakes to avoid when you're taking the MCAT. If you want to check out other sections of my medical school application, including GPA or activity section, please check out my other videos on my channel. Without further ado, let's begin. MCAT is a seven and a half hour exam. Out of the seven and a half hour, six hours and 15 minutes are testing time. There are four sections on the MCAT. The first one is chemical and physical foundations of biological sciences. The section is 95 minutes and it tests your knowledge in chemistry, organic chemistry, as well as physics. After this first 95 minutes, you get a 10 minute break and then comes the critical analysis and reasoning skills section, also known as the CARS section. This is a section where they test your verbal reasoning skills. They will give you nine passages in total, not only science related passages, but passages in the social sciences and the humanities. And you get 90 minutes to read through the nine passages and answer all of the questions. Following this section is a 30 minute break. Usually test takers have their lunch during this 30 minute break. And then after the lunch break, there is the biological and biochemical foundations of living systems. This is also a section that is 95 minutes long and it tests your knowledge in biology, biochemistry, and chemistry. After this section, you get a 10 minute break and then there is the psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. Another 95 minutes and then you are done. So this last section tests your knowledge in psychology, sociology, and a little bit of biology. At the very end, you have the option to complete a survey and also have the option to void the exam. I took the MCAT exam on March 14th, 2020 and scored a 515 on the MCAT, the 91 percentile. And for each component of the MCAT, for the first component, chemical and physical foundations, I scored 129, which is a 91 percentile. For the second section, critical analysis and reasoning skills, I scored 127, which is 82 percentile. This is my relative weakness of all of the sections. Third section is biological and biochemical foundations. I scored a 129, which is the 90th percentile. And lastly, there is psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. I scored 130, a relative strength, which is the 94th percentile. So that is my score on the MCAT exam. For the study resources, I will share with you the resources I purchased, some free online resources that I found really useful, and some of the tools that are really helpful. First of all, the resources I purchased, the AAMC official prep bundle, including the official guide, full-length practice exams, the question packs, the section banks, as well as the official prep guide, all in one bundle on the AAMC website, and that is around $200-$300. Another resource I use is the Kaplan Prep Test Books. When I purchased this online, they also gave me three full-length practice exams from Kaplan. After going through all of these resources, I also bought the Princeton Review Books for Biochemistry as well as the Behavioral Sciences to compensate for the Kaplan books. Finding out my weakness from the sample test, I realized that I need more practice in the CARS Critical Analysis and reasoning skills section. So I also bought the next step 108 passages for CARS practices. Other additional helpful resources that are online include Khan Academy. They offer super helpful tutorials, especially in the behavioral sciences and also practice problems. Another resource is the Jack Weston daily CARS passages. So on the website, they offer free CARS passages daily. And I believe they also have 
have a course that you could sign up for. I did not sign up for the course. However, I find the daily passages a good practice for the MCAT exam. And then there's the U world. I did sign up for a free trial, completed all of the practice problems in that free trial. I would say that U world is definitely the best third party resource to prep for the MCAT. However, my time for preparation was rather limited, so I did not purchase the whole U world question bank. And I definitely wish I had started using U world sooner. If you're done with all of the AAMC questions, if you are looking for additional practices, U world would definitely be the best place to go. And for the tools, first of all, there's Anki. Anki is a flashcard system that could be downloaded on your laptop, on your phone, and also iPad. Once you input all of the concepts on these flashcards based on space repetition, it will give you a series of cards for you to review every day to reinforce your memory of all of these concepts. Then other tools that I find useful are Student Doctor Network and Reddit. These are two online forums that have tons of users posting useful information like study guide, their summarized notes to prep for the MCAT. And also there are people asking questions about problems that they encounter while practicing for the MCAT and it's a whole community for MCAT takers. However, I would be a little bit cautious of all of the resources that are offered on there. Know what you need and take the resources from there because there are tons of good resources offered on these forums. You might easily get overwhelmed and feel that you have to look at all of them, which is not necessary. My test date was on March 14th, 2020, and I started preparing for the MCAT in early October of 2019 while working full-time as a high school teacher. I divided my preparation schedule into three main phases. The first phase is content review. Second phase is practice problems. And third phase is full-length test taking. For the very first phase, content review, the main resources I was using were the Kaplan books and the Princeton Review books as well as the Khan Academy tutorials. I would go through the chapters, take notes on the chapter, and make flashcards and review my flashcards on a daily basis using Anki. My typical day during the weekday, getting back from work at 5 p.m., cook and have dinner, and then study for two to three hours, going over two chapters of the Kaplan books, taking notes on them, making flashcards, and the last hour would be reviewing the Anki flashcards. And then on Saturday, I would go through four chapters of the Kaplan books, take notes on them, do flashcards, and on Sunday is usually my rest day. For the concepts that were really hard to understand or if I encountered for the first time, I would use Khan Academy video tutorials to help me process the content in a more visual way. So after the first round of content review, I took the sample test. I found out my weaknesses and strengths. I reviewed the topics related to my weaknesses a second time during the winter break of 2019. And then comes phase two, which is practice time. And that was from January all the way to February. During this time, I mainly used the A. MC question packs and the section banks. I would mix up the question packs and the section banks and do approximately 50 questions each day plus three cars passage practices. The reason I mixed up the question packs and section banks is because question packs are easier than the section banks. The questions on the section banks are questions that are similar to the actual questions that you will see on the MCAT exam, which is harder than what is in the question packs. And then after I exhausted all the practice problems from AAMC, I used Khan Academy passages, the U World passages for practice. And I also used the Next Step Cars 108 passages for additional cars practice. And phase three is the practice for full length test. I used the four AAMC provided full length practice exams as well as the three full length exams provided by Kaplan. Because I was working full time, I usually went to the libraries on Saturday and make sure to find a place where I know I won't be disrupted for the next seven and a half hours and take my exam over there. I would test like as if it were the real test. That means I prepped snacks, prepped my lunch, 
lunch, would not pause the test and follow the same duration of breaks each time I take the test. After the test, advice here is to take the review of the questions as seriously as when you're taking the practice exam because reviewing the questions, if not equally, is even more important than taking the practice exam itself. I created an Excel sheet to insert all of the questions that I got wrong, what topic it's related to, why I got it wrong, and what could I do differently next time to avoid getting a similar question wrong. I would ask myself if this is a mistake related to content, is it a mistake that is just silly, or is it something that I need to devise a strategy so I could be better at it next time. And then some tips and common mistakes to avoid when you're preparing for the MCAT. First of all, one tip is to, once you know what your test date is, plan backwards. Have a calendar, either weekly or daily calendar, to plan out what your daily or weekly plans are. Make sure to include all of the resources that you have and, and plan this schedule based on your daily capacity to study. Everybody has a different schedule, different responsibilities so take what you need from this video and customize it to your own needs um, second tip is to create flashcards either use Enki Quizlet or other flashcard systems when you're looking at the test prep books not only take notes but also make these flashcards so you can review them moving forward I know sometimes it's hard to be consistent with reviewing the flashcards but this is also super important to reinforce all of these concepts because a lot of things on the MCAT do require you to memorize. And then four common mistakes. The first one is overvaluing the content review over the actual practice problems. Practice problems are equally or even more important than content review itself. Practice problems help you understand not only what's on the test, but helps you get used to the style and the question types that appear on the MCAT. Based on practice problems, you will devise your own test taking strategy and also strategies to answer certain questions. When you're doing content review, a lot of things are memorization, but for practice problems, it's a lot of test taking strategies, how to read through the passages as quickly as possible and get the most important information. Second common mistake is not timing yourself when you're doing the practice problems or practice test. It feels completely different when you're timing yourself and when you're not timing yourself doing the practice problems. When you time yourself doing all of these practice exams, it helps your brain to adapt to what the actual test is like. And then the third common mistake is not reviewing your full length test in depth. So by in depth, I mean reviewing both the questions you got right and what you got wrong on the exams. And for the questions that you got wrong, think about why you got it wrong, how you could avoid a similar mistake in the future. Reviewing the full length test in depth is super critical. Fourth common mistake is to expect a way higher score than the scores that you got from your full length AAMC practice exams. The AAMC full length practice exams are a pretty good prediction of what you will actually get on the MCAT. So if you've taken the AAMC full length exams and did not reach your target score and thus do not feel ready for the exam, postpone the exam rather than hoping and praying for a miracle to happen. So these are the common mistakes that are also based on my own experiences. I wish I could have done more UWorld practice problems before taking the actual test and wish I could do more practices timing myself. I still remember the first time when I did the sample test after doing all of the content review. It was so, so difficult to sit through the seven and a half hours. I remember myself clicking on the pause test, a function you could get on the sample test, for three to four times during one section of the test. I just felt so anxious and frustrated the first time doing this practice exam. I also only got through seven out of the nine CARS passages the first time taking the practice exam. So I felt like 
I could never do this. I'm never gonna get the score that I want at all. And after the sample test, looking at the questions that I got wrong, it felt impossible to figure out the reason that I got it wrong. However, now here I am, I made it, and you will too. It is a test that tests all of your pre-medical knowledges, but it is also a test that tests your stamina, your patience, your resilience, and your adaptability. I really hope you the best of luck on your MCAT exam and your journey to medical school. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find the content useful or enjoyable so more people could see it. And please subscribe to my channel if you are also interested in other pre-medical content or medical school application content and follow along with my journey to medical school and in medical school. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.